Hey, 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 everyone. It is author and founder of the School of Purpose Academy, Vivian Cherie here back with Entrepreneur City, the place where modern and multi-passionate entrepreneurs find strategies on business, lifestyle, fashion, and faith. Guys, I'm so excited that you're here because today I'm going to be sharing with you part two of the three-step power play that dominating brands use for explosive growth. So listen, guys, you definitely want to grab pen and paper for this because if you have a business of your own and you're ready to take it to the next level, I'm breaking down the three-part power play that all major brands, billion-dollar and million-dollar brands use over and over and over again in their marketing to dominate, right? And guys, you want to be in a position where you're dominating because when you're dominating, you're not worried about competition. So while you're grabbing pen and paper, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about myself and why you should even stay tuned to listen to this training. Guys, I've been in the entrepreneur space for over seven years working on digital campaigns and business strategy. I love strategy because strategy is right before you get to the action. With those two things, you can make anything happen. Well, listen, guys, while working for three Fortune 500 companies in the pharmaceutical, the wireless technology, as well as the hospitality industries, guys, I discovered that over 60% of Americans are employed by small business owners. At that time, guys, in my career at the Fortune 500, I did not have life fulfillment, and I saw how you could get canned for anything. You could show up every day at work, but you could get canned if they did not want you there anymore, especially in the state that I'm in. You could get fired for anything at all. So what does financial security or family security or job security got to do with that? Nothing at all. So guys, I decided a better way for me to impact and influence my community is by coaching small business owners and entrepreneurs and people in careers that want to go to the next level. And here I am, guys. It has been such a huge transition, but I promise you it was well worth it. So guys, here I am today sharing with you a three-part series about how these major brands are dominating guys for over and over and over again when i say dominating any and everybody that you can think of that is dominating whether it be dominating locally nationally globally it doesn't matter trust and believe this is the power play that they are using all right so are you ready to jump in let's go first off the billion dollar power play part two the branding secret is they always specialize in something. What's your specialty, guys? What do you specialize in? Now, this one, this business fundamental that I picked up on as far as branding, I didn't realize this one. I really didn't because, guys, a lot of people in their branding, in their business building fundamentals, they're all over the place. They try to be everything to everybody, right? Right? But when I realize that you get over nine no's before you get that one yes. With that being said, that's telling me that there are more people that will not want my product than people that will. Okay. Now, when you really come to the hardcore truth facts of that statement, you can then understand, well, who exactly wants it and why would they want it? I need to create messages that will have a clear chosen path for the people that are attracted to what I have to offer. And the best way to do that is to specialize in something. Guys, are you in a particular industry that's overcrowded, such as the beauty industry, uh, the restaurant industry, the real estate industry, the landscaping industry? Well, I guess every industry is almost overcrowded, right? But guess what? The people that specialize in something, they always stick out. They're always known for something in particular. Guys, look at any brand you want. Amazon, they started off with only books. They specialized in books before they came Amazon. But see, Mr. Bezos, he had a vision, but he started off with books. And you know why I love to use Amazon as one of my one of my case studies over and over and over again. Not only do I love books, <laughs> but guys, they use books. They started off with something simple as books. Here's the crazy part about it. Barnes and Nobles and Borders were shutting down. 
they were already declining in sales. Amazon just forced them out, but they were already declining in sales. It wasn't because books wasn't profitable. It was because the way they were selling the books. Man, guys, this is so powerful when you just really take a look at this branding. Amazon came in and specialized in one books saying, listen, we got brand new books and used books, but just know we got any book title that you want. And not only that, we're into fast shipping. Guys, they specialize in fast shipping. Everything that Amazon do, every little business that even has grown from Amazon. So for an example, Amazon Prime, that's the membership club, right? Prime Video, it specializes in what? Video, Kindle, it specializes in what? Ebooks. Amazon Go, it specializes in the little rest, the little specialty uh, stores, the grocery stores. Prime Wardrobe, what does that specialize in? Clothing. Guys, all of the great companies, they, chick, let's talk about the restaurants. Chick-fil-A and Popeye's, they had the Chicken Sandwich Showdown right? They had the chicken sandwich show down. Me personally, both of them are too salty. So I didn't really see what the big deal was, but Hey, I'm in the South. Why wouldn't I enjoy a nice juicy fried chicken sandwich? I'm not going to lie to you, but was I going to stand in line for some freaking a uh, fried chicken sandwich? Hell no. But guess what guys? It's a branding secret right there in your face, right there. In your, it doesn't matter how it tastes. They specialize in chicken sandwiches and obviously people feel some type of way about chicken sandwiches that made it a big freaking deal. What do you specialize in guys? What do you specialize in? If I come to your restaurant, what do you specialize in? Do you specialize in a particular type of people? See some barbershops or some restaurants you go to, they specialize in families, right? You come in, everything is dedicated to the family. Uh, back in the late eighties, I'll never forget me and my grandfather and grandmother after church, we would go to Ponderosa Steakhouse. That was all about the families. I used to love doing that. Ponderosa was really good, but that was all about the family set, right? What do you specialize in? Do you specialize in a kid area? See McDonald's, they specialize in fast food, but you see how they realized fast food was for families that didn't have time to cook. So they also specialize in the playland, ice cream, happy meals. They started taking a lot of that stuff away, but they saw that that particular time, what was important and they specialize in it. Okay. So let's take a look at another one of your favorite brands, Starbucks. What do they specialize in? Coffee. Specialty coffee drinks, smoothie king, smoothies. They specialize in smoothies. Now here's the deal, guys. Some of you might say, well, I got a restaurant. I mean, I mean, I got too many things on my menu to specialize in. As I was saying, guys, you can specialize in a certain type of customer. If you like luxury, you know that client is gonna like luxury things. You could specialize in a certain type of cuisine, a certain type of service, whether it be to go or deliverable, deliverable, excuse me. <laughs> What do you specialize in, guys? So now it's your turn. Think about your business that you have. Think about everything that you're involved in. Think about your own career. Say, for instance, if you have a career and you're working somewhere. Guys, what is your secret sauce? What do you specialize in? What is different about you? See, we're living in a time where everybody has access to everything. See, back in the day, a lot of certain people had domination over business. But now any and everybody could get any and everything. So how do you stand out in a crowded marketplace? Everything is so loud. Everything and everybody easy accessible. What do you specialize in? That is the only thing. Well, that's one of the only things. But this is one of the things that billion dollar brands use over and over again. I don't want you to get overwhelmed and think that you have to have some huge menu or huge list of things at your store, whether it be retail or online. Guys, one product could take you to a billion dollar in sales. Look at Five Hour Energy Shot. Look at Red Bull. I can go on and on and on with this. It's crazy. Look at Patty LaBelle's sweet potato pies. Guys, Patty LaBelle had already had 
a uh, product line. And here's the crazy part, guys. She specialized in sugar-free because she was diabetic. I used to get a sauce that she had. It was so good. It was like a bourbon chicken sauce. And it was so good, but it was sugar-free. So she even specialized then. But then she went back, guys. One product with a connection with Walmart has made that woman way more money than we can even imagine at this particular time. One product. Guys, a sweet potato pie has probably about six ingredients. One product. Okay. So don't become overwhelmed into thinking I don't have anything. One idea. You're one idea away from crushing all of your goals and living the lifestyle of your dreams. Listen, guys, I know a lot of this information that I give you, it sounds so simple that it just has to be skeptical. You have to be skeptical. It's too good to be true. But guess what, guys? I don't mind you being skeptical. You know why? Because this is all about you understanding the options that you have. And I want you to choose wisely. This is why I bring you this information. This is why I bring you these trainings. Every training that we bring to you, you can take a look at some of the most trusted brands out there that you and I both love. You and I both love. And you will see these tactics and strategies in their business active, live and well today. Not yesterday, not 10 years ago, but today. No matter when you check this video out, you will be able to see that top brands, Fashion Nova, Apple, Amazon, Rolex, Gucci, Louis, whatever you like, you will see that they all specialize in something. Now, at the end of the day, guys, you have options. You could choose to do nothing and say, you know what? It doesn't take all of that. When everything blows over, it'll go back to normal. And I want you to understand, guys, that's totally fine. But just understand that doing nothing is still a decision. However, results are guaranteed when you take action. See, if you take action on this and it don't work, you got it. But guess what, guys? If you do nothing, you'll never know. Okay? So decide. Take action on it. I want to thank you guys so much for watching in today and tuning in and spending some time with me. Don't forget, guys, to like, share, and subscribe. And let me know what other videos you want to hear. Also, let me know um, if you have any questions. Just go ahead and hit like, thumbs up, and as well as ask any questions that you may have in the comment section, and I'll be more than happy to get back with you guys. Stay safe and have a blessed day.